What's going on guys? It's DJ DLG here. And wow, I cannot thank you guys enough for the tremendous support we had on the first tutorial video here on the channel. The top eight free VST plugins video has broken 8,500 plays in over six months. So I couldn't help but put together a second video here. And this time I wanted to get back on some of those comments because you guys left some amazing comments on that first video. I found some great VST synthesizers thanks to your recommendations. And I also got a couple comments saying, but what about those 64-bit plugins? Well, guys, I've updated to Ableton 10, and now we're going to take a look at all 64-bit plugins, both VST synthesizers, three synths that I'm really enjoying right now, and also some free VST effects. So let's go ahead and jump into things. But before we get into this, meet of this video, I'd love for you guys to support the channel. Feel free to subscribe, like, and comment. And of course, in the comment section, if you have any recommendations for either free VST plugins, free VST synths, or any other comments you'd like to leave down below, I'd love your feedback. And I do read all the comments, so I appreciate you guys supporting the channel. And let's make this grow. So let's go ahead and get into things here. What I've got first up is the drum section. I put together a little synth wave, kind of dream wave style demo song for us for our, this particular tutorial video. We're at 118 BPM. We're using Ableton 10.1. So let's go ahead and start off right here with some nice 80s style drums. On the drum processing in this particular track, I wanted to show you guys a VST that I've been using quite a bit. And that is the OTT plugin brought to you by Expert Records, aka Steve Duda. And I do like to use this OTT on certain elements, even the master chain sometimes. Uh, and it some, sometimes tends to bring out a nice little punch. I do also use the Ableton OTT and multi band dynamic pr compression plugin as well. But I do recommend you guys check this out. Keep it in your arsenal. It'll certainly become handy. And it's very light on the processor. So definitely recommended to check that out. And so we brought in on the drums, just keeping things pretty dry on this track. Now to switch things up, let's get to the bass line. Oh yeah. So as you guys can hear, we got a pretty simple eighth note bass, nice 80s retro vibe going here. And this VST plugin right here, 64-bit VK1 Viking synthesizer, is a recreation of a Moog synthesizer. Was recommended in the comments of my last video, and I am loving this thing. This has some tremendous sound, and it really is quite powerful. I've not had any issues, and it's got a ton of great presets. Definitely recommend you guys grab this one and check it out. Let's give it a listen. The Viking. Let's go ahead and tighten it up a little bit here. So this will give you an idea, right now I'm using the 80s bass preset, but there are a ton of other great presets in this pack, so definitely recommend you guys check this out. Now what I put on top of this are a couple other additional plugins. Right here we've got the Crush plugin. This is a new favorite of mine recently that I've discovered, bring in some of the dry as well. It just adds a little bit of grit to the sound. The Crush plugin obviously can, can give a good amount of drive, but also does a nice redux. Similar to what the Redux plugin is on the Ableton software, gives a nice, a nice crush, a nice 8-bit feel to your sound. I like to use this not only on synthesizers, but sometimes also on loops as well. And it can really kind of give a nice little articulation to the 
accents of every track or every element and really can bring out some of the transients as well. So definitely recommend experimenting with this. If you're, you know, used to using Erosion or Redux, this Crush plugin 64-bit by Tritic is definitely worth checking out as well as an alternative to that. And it also has some modulation options as well, which I'm not going to get into here on this video, but let's just say it's pretty powerful and fun. To top things off on this track, on the bass line, we're going to go ahead and add the OTT. Just to kind of give it a little bit, bring, may bring things out a little bit, give it a little more bite. And then, obviously, we want those drums to breathe, so we're going to go ahead and add a sidechain compression. If you guys don't know how sidechain works, basically it'll duck on the drums. In this particular circumstance, I'm, I'm routing it to the drum channel. But um, all you have to do to open this up in Ableton is just click this here, and flip on the sidechain button, and it can give you a little, little bit of pump. Keep it pretty minimal here for right now, but definitely a nice addition and can give the drums a little bit of room to breathe. So there you go, that's the Viking VK1 synthesizer. Excellent for leads and basses. Definitely recommend you guys check that out. Add it to your arsenal. Next up, we've added an arpeggiator. Oh yes. Again, getting into that retro vibe, what I've done here is brought in a synthesizer by the name of Surge. Now, Surge was also rec recommended to me in the comments of last video, and wow, what a powerful synth it is. This is basically like the uh, other, v you know, other VSTs out there, but this is a wavetable synthesizer as well. So if you're really used to using, you know, just uh, different uh, applications and plugins that have this capability, it's actually really, really powerful. So let's go ahead and check it out. Now this is kind of a free version of the Serum synth. If you guys are familiar with X for Records Serum, definitely check out Surge. It's very similar in a lot of ways. All I've done here in this particular example is brought out the DNA sequencer preset. And as you guys can see, there's actually a ton of great presets in here. And all I've done is tweaked it a little bit and brought up the attack on the amplification and the filter to kind of give it a little brass vibe and a little more 70s feel to it. It also has an effect section in there as well. And you can probably hear a little bit of echo in the routing. Definitely an in-depth synthesizer and definitely recommend you guys check this out. Definitely very powerful. And uh, I've been a favorite of mine recently as well. I've used it on quite a few projects. And a great alternative to Serum. Definitely worth checking out. Strongly encourage it. 64-bit plugin Surge. Next up, on top of this, we've added the Tal Chorus LX. Let's give a listen. Now, I wanted to give it a little bit more 80s feel to it. And as you guys can hear right there, this chorus effect is definitely giving you some nice option with that. Adds the option to bring in and dial in some stereo width and obviously a dry wet knob as well. I love using this on various pads and leads and it's definitely very powerful. Check out the Tal Chorus LX. Again, this is a 64-bit plugin. To kind of round things out, I also included another favorite of mine, the Valhalla Frequency Echo. Now this is a 64-bit delay plugin and it's definitely very powerful. I encourage you guys to check this out and pick it up online if you can. It gives a nice dreaminess. Then to top things off, as we did with the bass line, bringing in that OTT right on top, just to kind of give it a little bit more punch. And as with the bass line as well, I'm gonna add a little bit of side chain compression just to kind of give the drums a little bit more space and obviously, you know, give it a little pump to it. So there you go, that's our arpeggiator using the Surge plugin. Valhalla Frequency Echo, Tal Chorus LX, and OTT. 
And last but not least, let's go ahead and check out the chords. Now with this example, I wanted to kind of have a little bit of a dreamy 70s style chord going in the background and I pulled up one of my favorites, the OBXD, the Oberheim Recreation. This is a free BSD plugin, as are the others, and I definitely encourage you guys to check this out. On the website, it does recommend that you, if you like, to submit a donation to support the developers, but it's not required. I love this VST and I use it on a lot of my projects for brass and strings. Now I'm going to go ahead and dial down the, uh, the bass line and some of the other elements real quick just to kind of give us some focus here on the... This particular preset is in the brass section. It is the don't jump preset. On top of that, we're bringing in the Tau Chorus. And right away, it gives it that nice 80s feel. Nice and wet. Now, the Tau Chorus is a recreation of a Juno 60 chorus, which is infamous. On top of that, we're going to bring in another favorite plugin of mine that I've been using quite a bit recently. Now, I do like the phaser built into Ableton, and there's various ways to bring a kind of a phase effect, but this VST PHAZOR, much like LAZOR, is a new recent 64 bit favorite for me. Definitely recommend you guys check that out. Gives a nice phaser effect. On top of that, I brought in the another favorite VST of mine, free download and 64-bit, and that is the Wider plugin. This is by Infected Mushroom, and it brings a nice stereo width to any of your tracks. Another benefit of this is it generally does not cause any kind of phase cancellation. So I really like this plugin. I generally won't put it on something like a bass or certain elements, but you know, on leads or certain percussion, it can really add a really great width. Let's check it out with it off and then dial it up. You can really crank it up up to 200% if you want, but I generally like to keep it a little below 100 for the most part. Just like the other tracks, I've also brought in an OTT to kind of tie things together on the top end. And just kind of put that side chain on there just to give it a little more room for the drums. While we're at it, why don't we go ahead and put this wider plugin right on top of the arpeggiator as well. Give that a little bit of width. Move it back here at the beginning of the chain. Obviously, we've got that echo on there, which is giving it some width as well, but it's got a nice vibe to it. And so there you go, guys. Kind of a breakdown of all three tracks. Definitely recommend. You guys will have links down in the description for the Viking VK1 synthesizer, the Surge VST, and of course, OBXD. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name is DJ DLG. I appreciate you guys tuning into my channel. If you did like this video, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to leave a note below about some of your free VST plugins and effects that you're enjoying like right now. I certainly appreciate all the support, feedback, and input. And don't forget, guys, if you are enjoying this channel, I always love to hear from you. So it's great to interact with the community here, and I hope to continue to build things more into the future. Thanks a lot for tuning in, and I'll see you guys again in the next video. Let's rock out with this track for a little bit, shall we?
Thanks a lot for tuning in, guys, and I'll see you guys again next time. Also, don't forget, if you're still watching here by the end of the video, check out some of those social media links down at the bottom. You can check out some of my original music production, etc. as well. Appreciate your support, guys. See you again next time.